It is a new month and a new filming studio. I'm excited to be coming to you today from our brand new filming studio. This has been um, a, a long time in the making, it seems like, although I guess it hasn't been so long since we started talking about needing to do this. But if you have been hanging around here for any length of time, you know that I have been itching to get all of the filming gear out of my sewing room and somewhere else so that I could have my sewing space back. Working around all of the cords and wires and lights and microphones and everything that we need to film was a little bit of a hassle when it was just in my sewing room. I was constantly having to work around things, step over cords, um, make sure I'm not bumping into lights. And so this is going to be so much nicer for us. When we started making regular videos last year about this time, we weren't really sure if we were going to continue doing so, if we would have anybody watching or if it just was going to flop altogether. But you guys have been awesome and it has been such a fun time here. We are closing in on 50,000 subscribers. If you're not yet subscribed we would love to have you join the coriander quilts youtube crew it is a fun group of people and i always enjoy getting to talk to all of you so with all of that being said this is our new backdrop not as many pretty fabrics as maybe you're used to seeing in my sewing room but still just a pretty assortment of color and i am looking forward to being able to kind of change this out a little bit more add cute little decorations for the different seasons and I think this is going to work out so well. With a new month comes a new $5 pattern over in my Etsy, Etsy shop so I'm going to talk about that first but then I'm going to dive right into a project that I am really hoping you can give me some suggestions for. So let me go ahead and hang up the quilt that is $5 for the pattern of the month back behind me and I'll chat about that with you first. This is Wheelhouse. It is the $5 pattern of the month over in my Etsy shop. It is a fat eighth friendly quilt. It uses 15 fat eighths. And the fabric line that I used for this quilt is called Lulu Lane. And if I am remembering correctly, this was my third line of fabric for Moda. So it has been a while since this line of fabric was in quilt shops. When that happens and the fabrics are no longer available to purchase, I always like to make sure that I provide you guys with some digital mock-ups using fabrics that are currently in quilt shops and do up new versions of the quilt digitally so that you can see what it would look like using fabrics that you can easily purchase now. So you are going to be able to find those images over on my blog, corianderquilts.com today, so that you can see what it might look like in something a little bit different. Now, this quilt, as you see here, is made using 15 different prints, just as I said, but I also designed it that it could be made using just two fabrics. This quilt, the same quilt pattern as what you see behind me here, is made using a textural print from Lululane, as well as a white solid. This is Bella Solid in the color 9900-200, which is called Off-White. Now, this little print, as I said, is from Lululane, and if you wanted just a sweet little texture print, I would recommend picking up one of Robin Pickens' thatched fabrics. They have a wonderful texture to them, a little bit more than what you see here, but it is going to give a very similar effect to this quilt if you prefer to use just a little bit of a print rather than a solid. So the yardage requirements, um, if you wanted to use solids, you can see them here on the pattern, but I always list that information over in my Etsy shop in each pattern listing so that you can easily see what fabrics you would need to purchase or have on hand to make any of my quilt patterns. So if you're ever wondering, be sure to check my Etsy shop out first. I think that's all I need to say about wheelhouse everything important is linked down below in that description box so you can find what you need to know down there now let's go ahead and move on to that project i mentioned that i need help with i am going to be teaming up with a local organization that helps girls that have been victims of sex trafficking and it was really laid on my heart that i donate quilts to this organization so that while those girls are staying at that facility they have just 
Ideally, I'm hoping it just feels like they have a warm hug that they can wrap around them and then they can take those quilts um, with them when they are able to leave. And so I'm going to be starting with about 15 quilts to meet what they are expecting to need when the facility opens. And then ideally, I will continue providing quilts for them as girls are able to leave. They'll take the quilts and then as they have new girls coming to stay with them, they would have plenty of quilts to be able to give to them. Um, and I am looking for quilt patterns that are easy to make. And by easy to make, I'm also wanting them to be fast to make so that I can make them quickly. If they could be made in an afternoon or in a day, that would be perfect. And I'm planning to use from work from pre-cuts if I can. So I have here in front of me a nice variety of, these are mostly layer cakes. All of these are layer cakes. And then a fat eighth bundle down here. I have a bunch of charm packs. These two, um, one of my uh, Moda reps, Moda Mark, I don't know if you watch these or not, but some of you do know Moda Mark, it gave me these two charm packs um, from some lines that are going to be coming out with Moda this fall. And then these others I had in my stash. Some of these are Moda layer cakes. These are Riley Blake layer cakes. So I am looking for quilt patterns that will finish at approximately 48 by 60, just a real nice, row sized quilt pattern. And I would love suggestions for quilt patterns that maybe you have made that are your tried and true quilt patterns that you know come together quickly, that have great pressing instructions and can be made fast. <laughs> that's, that's really what I'm looking for. And I know quilters always have those secret patterns kind of tucked back in their mind. So they have something to grab when they want to make a quick gift um, for whatever the occasion. One of the quilt tops that I've already made, I just sewed together layer cake squares, 20 of them. I had half a layer cake hanging around. I'm not even sure what I used the other half of this layer cake for, but I had 20 squares, so I sewed four across, five down, five across, six down. I must have had 30 squares, it looks like, because as I'm counting, one, two, three, four, five, five by six, 30 squares. So I must have used not even half of them for that other project. And just sewed these together to make a super fast, easy patchwork quilt top that I'll then have quilted up. So I can easily do that with some of these layer cakes that I have here, but I thought it would be nice to have maybe something a little bit different. And of course the charm packs, I'm going to need to add sashing or um, piecing, something, something in there. Um, I also have a bunch of jelly rolls. So if you have jelly roll patterns that are fast and easy to sew up, I would love to hear those suggestions. What I plan to do is after I make up some of these different quilt tops using what I have here is to do a, another video and share some of your suggestions, the quilt tops that I've made up, just so that it can be a really nice resource if any of you find yourself in a similar situation where you need to make something quickly and you want it to be beautiful and you want it to turn out nicely right from the get-go and then share all of that information with you in that video. So I would love if you would help me out down in the comments, list your suggestions, and I would be so appreciative to um, have some different options that I could start sewing up these quilt tops. I'm looking forward to this project. I'm looking forward to your suggestions, and I know you guys will have the best things to tell me. So thank you so much for stopping by. I'm also looking forward to filming more videos down here in this new space. And we, we always have fun things planned to share with you. So I look forward to chatting with you again soon. And I'll catch you again next time.